Centuries passed, entire nations tried to erase them. Their language was outlawed, their land was stolen, their very existence was denied. But despite everything, the Sami people survived. And when scientists finally analyzed their DNA, they uncovered something shocking, something that rewrites European history forever. Imagine being punished just for speaking your own words, for practicing your own traditions, for simply existing. An unexpected and shocking discovery crossed the way when scientists revealed something about their DNA, something that can amaze as well as provoke you to go deeper. Who exactly were Sami? How they were wronged and repressed? Why their DNA and genes are world of wonders? These questions roamed the minds of researchers and scientists for decades. What's important is now we have answers, but before diving into their unique and special DNA, we need to understand what they've been through. The Sami once roamed freely across the Arctic tundras, living as hunters, fishers, and herders. They were ancient warriors in their own way, but then, borders were drawn. Beyond that they never agreed to. Their sacred lands were divided among Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Russia. The place they called homeland was broken into the small pieces. What followed was years of forced assimilation. But guess what? This was just the beginning. Children were ripped from their families, placed in brutal boarding schools, and beaten for speaking their own language. Those young minds were bane brainwashed and almost abused. Traditional ceremonies were banned. Ancient sacrificial sites were destroyed. Missionaries called their spiritual beliefs demonic and burned their sacred drums. Imagine Bane called a monster and still victimized. All their fault was, they were Sami. But then if you think this was worse, think again. After the 20th century, governments classified the Sami as an inferior race. They go as far as scientists measured their skulls, looking for proof they were less evolved. Their lands were stripped away from mining and logging, leaving them with nothing. Sami had their own spiritual beliefs centered on animism and shamanism. Unfortunately, the powerful forces couldn't handle even that. From the 1600s onward, Christian missionaries sought to convert the Sami, often violently. Those who resisted conversion were sometimes executed or exiled. For many years, the Sami were denied political representation in Nordic countries. In Norway, laws prevented Sami people from owning land unless they spoke Norwegian. No one heard their cries. Nobody wants to witness their sufferings. That time, no one acknowledged them, no one. They cried in silence for centuries. Did you know even today, the Sami continued to face challenges? Mining and wind farms are still being developed on their lands without proper consent. Climate change threatens reindeer herding as warming temperatures affect migration routes and food sources. Sadly, racism and discrimination still persist in Scandinavian countries, with some viewing the Sami as primitive citizens. Even today, we couldn't give a proper end to this discrimination. Against all of this unethical odds of Scandinavian nations, we can say that they were forced or more so willingly migrated towards, let's say, hardships. Perhaps this was much needed for their own cultural salvation. But even then, their journey wasn't just about survival. It was about defiance. As glaciers retreated 10,000 years ago, they followed. They adapted to the Arctic tundra, mastering the land like no other people before them. But what's truly astonishing, despite countless invasions and forced assimilation, their genetic legacy remained almost untouched for thousands of years. From the shivering icy tundras of the last ice age, to the modern challenges of climate change and urbanization, the Sami have continuously found ways to thrive while holding on to their rich heritage. They are not survivors, they are warriors. These early ancestors of the Sami followed the herds of reindeer and other animals into the newly exposed landscapes of what is now Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Russia's Kola Peninsula. They made their life following deep ancestral meaning into their DNA. But what happened next was unexpected as well as unfortunate for them, originating likely from Siberia and the Ural Mountains. These early groups brought with them unique languages and cultural traits that would evolve into Sami identity. But then, by the 5000 BCE, their seasonal migrations were well established, centered around reindeer hunting, fishing, and trade with neighboring peoples. The first Sami ancestors lived in small mobile groups, hunting reindeer, elk, and fish, while gathering berries and plants. Their surviving skills were epic than any other nations surrounding them. Over time, they developed specialized knowledge of the Arctic and sub-Arctic landscapes. 
using tools made of bone, antler, and stone. You know what's even more impressive? These environmental changes and challenges affected not only their skills, but their genes too. That's why they hide a wonderful lineage and undescribable ancestry in their DNA. These people have evolved to thrive in freezing temperatures. Special genes boost brown fat activity, turning it into natural body heat. Their unique fat metabolism helps them extract energy efficiently from their traditional diet rich in fish and reindeer, but they consumed little dairy, leading to lower lactase persistence. Instead, their genetic adaptations allow them to process high-fat diets without increased heart disease risk. Surviving the Arctic means adapting to long winters and endless summer days. Sami genetics help process vitamin D more efficiently for strong bones and immunity, while their circadian rhythm genes help regulate sleep despite extreme day-night shifts. Just by living in small, remote villages, they developed a finely tuned immune system, strong enough to fight local infections, but not prone to autoimmune diseases. Like other Arctic populations, Sami evolved shorter limbs and stockier builds, natural insulation against the cold. They thrived in one of the harshest environments of the world. Their DNA didn't just affected by ancestry, but also these natural scenarios. For decades, scientists were baffled. The Sami didn't fit with their neighbors, linguistically, culturally, or genetically. Then, DNA tests revealed the truth. 87% of their ancestry traced back to Europe's oldest hunter-gatherers. But the other 13%? It came from deep in Siberia, across thousands of miles, a migration nobody expected. This was no ordinary mix. This was proof of an ancient migration nobody had expected. And that wasn't all. Their maternal DNA carried genetic markers found in some of the first humans to ever step foot in Europe. Meanwhile, their paternal DNA linked them directly to Siberian tribes who thrived in the frozen tundras of the Ice Age. So the proper estimation is more than 80% of the Sami carry one of two specific mtDNA types, passed down through the maternal line. One of these, haplogroup U5B1B1, is thought to have originated in Eastern Europe, though it belongs to a larger European lineage, U5B1B. The scientists examined five specific HLA genes, which play a key role in immune system function. Searching immune system was deep digging for scientists, and the new treasures were discovered. These genes are highly diverse and can provide insights into ancient population history. The Sami show a mix of genetic influences, supporting the idea of a blended ancestry with both European and non-European contributions. The one interesting revelation is in Sweden. There are two main Sami groups, North Sami and South Sami, each speaking different languages. Genetic studies aim to determine how similar or different these two groups are. The next scientists did was a difficult and almost impossible experiment. Researchers studied the genetics of 284 Sami individuals from northern Sweden, Norrbotten, 154 people, and southern Sweden, Västerbotten, 130 people. To compare, they analyzed data from 252 non-Sami Swedes. The study was approved by an ethics committee, but results shocked everyone. Recent discoveries were normal, but these were on another level. Scientists focused on HLA-A, HLA-B, DRB1, DQB1, and DQA1 genes, which are important for the immune system. Researchers used PCR, a DNA amplification technique, and specialized software to identify genetic patterns. Sami genetic data were compared with over 40 populations worldwide, from Europe, Asia, Africa, and the Americas, using existing databases. The conclusion were on fire. Not only similar, but also significant genetic differences were found between the Northern Sami, Southern Sami, and non-Sami Swedes. Southern Sami had more genetic overlap with other Europeans than the Northern Sami. Northern Sami had fewer genetic variations, fewer unique alleles than Southern Sami. This study was a strong proof of one revelation. Some genetic markers in the Sami are unique to Europe while others are more common in Asian populations. This supports the idea of the Sami having a mixed European-Asian genetic origin. The two Sami groups showed high genetic stability, meaning their genetic traits have remained relatively unchanged. This supports the evidence of unique and completely isolated genetics. Certain genes showed signs of balancing selection, meaning they were naturally preserved over time due to their importance for survival, meaning that they intentionally prevent intermingling to preserve their DNA a smart move by their ancestors. Northern Sami had a higher degree of genetic similarity within their group compared to the Southern Sami. But then, several genetic markers found in the Northern Sami 
were at similar frequencies to other European populations, confirming a predominantly European genetic origin. Some alleles were more common in the northern Sami and Asian populations, but were rarer in other Europeans. This suggests an Asian genetic contribution. Two alleles were much more frequent in the northern Sami than in any other population. But then one more shock came to light. MDS analysis is a statistical method that visually maps genetic relationships between populations based on their genetic similarity. Sami populations were slightly separate from other Europeans. They were shockingly positioned near two Siberian groups, Tuva and Kalk from Mongolia, reinforcing the idea of Asian genetic influence. After this all-analysis team scientist came to one accepting conclusions. Archaeological evidence suggests that humans inhabited northern Europe soon after the last glaciation, 10,000 YBP, and mitochondrial DNA, mtDNA, data indicates that most Sami maternal lineages originated in Western Europe, 18,000 YBP, likely from populations that survived in glacial refuges. However, some mtDNA haplogroups show an Eastern European origin, 8,000 YBP, possibly linked to the eastward expansion of populations after the Ice Age. Somehow, the evidence of Mongolian and Finno-Ugric genetic influence has been found in the Sami, reflecting historical migration patterns. This shows they were quite beyond the Europe. But Sami gene pool is predominantly European, supported by the high frequency of certain HLA class I and class II alleles common in European populations. Asian genetic influence is estimated at 13%, particularly in the northern Sami, where some alleles are more frequent in Northeast Asian, Siberian, and Native American populations than in Europeans. Moreover, admixture analysis suggests that 30% of northern Sami individuals have genotypes resembling Northeast Asians. One more dominant evidence is, effective population size of the Sami is 20% of that of non-Sami Swedes, reflecting a historically small and stable population. Genetic drift and selection have shaped the Sami gene pool, particularly in the northern Sami, where some alleles are at much higher frequencies than in any other population. This reveals that balancing selection has likely influenced some HLA polymorphisms, maintaining genetic diversity at certain loci. Well-estimated time of admixture in the southern Sami suggests that non-Sami European groups may have reached southern Sami territories earlier than previously thought. Alternatively, Sami migration to the south could have led to their interbreeding with pre-existing European populations in Scandinavia. The genetic distinctiveness of the northern Sami supports the theory that they represent a more ancestral Sami population, with less European admixture than the southern Sami. But this wasn't the end game. The Swedish Sami are primarily of European genetic origin, but the northern Sami show a significant Northeast Asian influence, 13%, likely due to historical migrations and genetic drift. In contrast, the southern Sami have a higher degree of admixture, 58%, with non-Sami Swedes, making them genetically closer to other European populations. These findings align with archaeological and linguistic evidence suggesting complex historical interactions between the Sami, European, and Asian populations over thousands of years. After discovering these unique groups' rich history, efforts are being made to preserve their identity. Norway, Sweden, and Finland now have Sami parliaments that advocate for indigenous rights, though their power is limited. Some territories have been returned to Sami control. Efforts are being made to revitalize the Sami languages through schools and media, Fortunately, Norway was the first country to recognize the Sami as an indigenous people and granted them some rights. The UN and the European Union have recognized Sami rights, though enforcement is inconsistent. Today, the Sami are still fighting. Until this date, their lands are being exploited. Their culture is still under threat. But if history has shown us anything, it's that they won't disappear. They've survived for thousands of years against impossible odds, and now, armed with the truth of their DNA, they're reclaiming their story. Their resilience remains a legacy for world and as well as other indigenous group. Their efforts remain remarkable and aspiring for other indigenous groups that had or still facing these challenges. They are hallmark for indigenous rights. But the Sami aren't the only indigenous group whose DNA revealed shocking secrets. There's another forgotten people, one whose genetic discovery changed everything we thought we knew about Japan. Click here to uncover the mystery of the Ainu people's hidden DNA before history buries it again.